What's up with it, y'all? Today is the first day of day lockdown. I'm locking them down today because I can't keep coming and putting them up at night. They need to go in the house by themselves. So that's what I'm shooting for today. I'm going to let them spend the whole day in here. The kids, I won't let them see them see them to the morning. Let me see what they're doing. I'm going to take a quick peek. <clears throat> Everybody in here moving around. They done knocked down one of the roosting bars. They been eating. Food and water. Yeah, y'all got to do a day in here, guys. Girls, I'm sorry. Girls. It's going to be all right, though. Y'all do y'all day. Then I'm going to come in here, clean up. Poopa scooper. I'm going to add some more pine shavings for y'all since y'all laying them down. And we're going to keep this party rocking. Let's see. Everybody's okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep. Everybody's here. Nobody escaped. Windows. I'm going to uh, build something. Well, I'm going to close those off in the winter. For now, I ain't really tripping. I'm going to get in here and, and, and knock it out, though. I will finish it. I got to get my um, my boots. Yes, I want some tall rubber boots. But, yeah. That's it, y'all. 14 chickens all here. They drinking. They eating. Another day. Make them learn how to get along. Laverne and Shirley, the two buff orpitents, these two. That's Laverne and Shirley. And they don't really like nobody. But look, uh-oh. That's the first. They're starting to bond. They ain't laying yet, so that's the, uh, over there where you see that one coming out at. Right there. That is uh, the nesting box. I'm going to take and put a, a, a sheet over the front so when they go in there, they can have some privacy and lay and, and do what they do. So, one day at a time, though. And when I put the calcium in here for them, I'm going to put it over here by the food for them. You know, just doing small steps, man. Small steps. But ain't nobody trying to get out, and that's the good thing. Hey, girls. Hi, girls. Yeah, it's safe in here for you guys. This is your home. You girls. I keep saying you guys. One of y'all need to be a rooster. Uh oh, rue. Cock a doo to do. But it's okay. We're gonna take what we get. I, I don't mind having all, all of y'all laying eggs. That'll be cool too. I know uh, a thousand people want some foreign fresh eggs every day. Now, the white stuff on the walls, that's diet tomatoes earth. It's to, uh, that prevent mites and insects and bugs, you know, the, the, the undesirable ones, you know, that we don't want for our chickens, you know, why they trying to roost at night and shit like that. So I just kind of just threw it all over the damn thing and shit because it ain't bad for them either. Some people put this shit in their food to help with mites on the inside and shit of they uh, different insects that they eat and what they call them, shit. I guess it's something like tape runners. I don't know. Don't don't quote me on that though, y'all. I, I want to be right when I tell you the next time, next video. I make sure I tell you the exact bug that like to get up on them while they roosting and shit at night. Yeah, I guess bed bugs for chickens type shit. 
plenty of food, plenty of water. I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm just say this. This this uh, ain't been a it ain't been a uh, the easiest journey for me. Cause man, I put in some damn like, hours. Days. together y'all chickens source of food it's a beautiful thing well let me go pick up my children and get my weekend started y'all enjoy y'all day the chickens they cooped up for the day but it's all for the better so that way they know how to protect themselves at night. Go in the house. That way we can shut them in. Until I decide what automatic door that I want. I definitely got to have an automatic door. Because I honestly can't. I can't be waking up on time every day. This is seven day a week job. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to tell you like this. I ain't never done no job harder than raising some livestock, man. Because these is living, breathing creatures, beings, whatever you want to say. And they need attention daily. Like you need attention. You attend to yourself daily. They need it daily too. Some things they can't do. They can't shut that door by themselves. So they need me. They need me to open it. Let them out. Free range. Eat everywhere. Um, currently, I'm going to put some more moss down on my dog side of the yard. I'm trying to finish her uh, dog house. I'm going to make it kind of match up to the chicken coop. That way she won't feel like, damn, you, you built them that before you built mine. <laughs> hey, animals got feelings, y'all. I'm trying to tell you. They got feelings, too. And we... They help us. I mean, I only have animals in my house that's going to help me. My dog is a guard dog. She's not a friendly dog. I tell everybody, my dog isn't friendly. Kids, they want to come up to my yard and look over at the chickens. Listen, my dog be loose. My dog is here to protect the chickens. She's here to protect the house. And she's also a great companion. She, she loves some love <laughs> You know But she will tear your ass up And and that's how I want my dog I don't want no dog that I'm just feeding And it's just laying around on his damn stomach Doing nothing And my chickens provide eggs Meat Money Yes Yes It's gonna work out Okay y'all This is just a quick little quick little glimpse of my morning uh trying to get these chickens trained so i don't have to fucking tend to them as much you know i want them to just be like free range for real like just 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 living you know strong chickens chickens that know how to defend themselves from predators you know, I got shit set up in the yard, little little cubby holes and shit for them to hide under and everything. Because, I mean, if they was out in the wild, some stuff we wouldn't, they do all that shit on their own. And when they get to doing it on their own, you go, I'm talking about from eating and everything. Yeah, I want to cut down on my feed bad. I don't want to buy feed. They supposed to live off the land like they do in the wild. They still get the, get the same size and everything in the wild. Eating bugs and you see I got rocks and shit in my yard. Logs. I move that shit out around from here and there. 
And they always come check out when I move something because they know. It is goodies under there. I can't wait till tomorrow. I'm going to make another video for y'all tomorrow. I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. How to get your chickens treats from off the land to cut down on your feed costs. Because guess what? We ain't got money to keep on buying feed to feed something we trying to eat. It's supposed to be a natural, natural thing. Like when you go fishing. You ain't feeding them fish every day to eat them. No. They just doing their thing until you come along and ruin their life. But that's just the that's just how the world works. That's how life goes. Uh, tell me your chickens. You, you got chicken stories? How did you train your chickens to go in the coop? Do you go in there every did you put them in there every night? Did you put them on the roost and bars? Cause I put two on the roost and bars and it just is like the rest just follow the suit. Uh, I'm thinking about throwing some treats in there since I got them in there 24 hours. I know I got food and water in there, but I don't know. I'll probably go buy some mealworms or something like that for them. Who knows? I don't know. I really don't want to spend no more money on them. I spent enough. I need a good few months of not spending money on the chickens. Well, tomorrow, when I let them out, I'm going to show y'all, because I got some rocks that's been sitting for some some time. I got some wood that's been sitting. So when I move it, y'all can see them eat. That'll be fun. Enjoy y'all day, y'all. On to the next video.